Lisa and I have been together since I was 19. She was 17, and we've had a long journey together to go through everything that I think a person possibly could. She was the middle child of our five. We have two older than her and two younger than her. Yeah, she just was very bubbly, sweet. One of those things that we always ask the kids to do, you know, keep us in tune with where you're at and what you're doing. And, and so we spoke to her several times that evening. Just shortly after nine o'clock um, that evening, she was up at the subway Twenty-six in Sycamore, and said she was hanging out with with a couple people up there. It was the last time we ever talked to her. We didn't eventually find out anything until it was 11. almost eleven o'clock. When we got the knock on the door, it was probably a half a dozen officers and then one person in plain clothes who I came to find out shortly thereafter was a, a pastor. They proceeded to tell us that there was a bad car accident and... and so we thought that we needed to quick rush in our cars and go to the hospital. They said, no, stop. You know, the people in the car accident. They, they didn't make it. You know, we had some really, I'd have to say we had some very, very dark years after Ashley died. I felt a little bit of the, the story of, of Job. You know, hindsight is a, is a wonderful thing because sometimes you miss the blessings that you had along the way, uh, which, which we did. We, we missed them, all the good things that were trying to happen amongst all the, the bad and the hurt. You know, we just had a huge presence of people praying for us. told him, you know, early on that once we were done having kids that we were going to be foster parents. I don't know if we can do this. I don't know. He's like, what if we get too attached? What if, you know, we're attached and then these kids leave our lives and we have the same pain? And we thought, well, you know, we have all this grief. Is this even fair? One thing we learned is you know, children that are in foster care, they have their own grief. And that pain is, you know, one thing we could understand. I remember getting a call from Pastor Jason saying, you know, we have a family, that, you know, lost a, a child in an accident and we want to provide meals. I had told him if there was a family that lost a child that I would most definitely be willing to, you know, to reach out and help in any way that I could. And so he asked if I would bring them a meal and I was like, well, sure. I do know somewhat of what you're going through and that through you know my pain that maybe I can help you. 